morning. Well, it's not morning. It is 2.30. I was supposed to start this vlog this morning, but y'all, I am a little bit handicapped. Last week, I just woke up and my entire neck and my traps were like stuck and I was moving like this. And I couldn't even like twist my neck. It's much better now, but like my traps felt like rocks. I didn't know what was going on but it's better now it's just this one and it's like it doesn't hurt it's just like annoying it's an annoying injury this happens to me like once a year and it's just like it, it hurts a little bit but it's more so annoying but anyways enough about me welcome back to my channel <laughs> it has been a minute since our vlog um i'm literally about to post my curacao vlog it took me a while to edit because that's a long one. I think that's my longest vlog I've ever put up. It's like an hour and a half. I don't really like them to be that long, but I just got carried away. I was just yapping away. Um, but yes, I figured we haven't vlogged in a minute and my last vlog was very sad. So I let you guys know that Buffers passed away, which I've still been coping with. Mm. Rizzo's Curls has been sending me stuff. I've never tried this brand, but let's give her a whirl. But yeah, it's just been like an awkward time for me. So I haven't really been in the mood to like pick up the camera and vlog. Um, you guys know I did the vlog when Buffy passed away and then I went on vacation um, a couple of weeks later and then I haven't picked up my camera. I've just, I also got back and got very busy with work stuff. Um, I had quite a few modeling jobs up north and oh this smells really good mm. and um yeah I had a couple like business things that I'm not allowed to really talk about y'all are gonna be like well I don't know if most of y'all will even care but it's just like a huge change coming to my brand which should be fun it's time for a new chapter so I've had a an emotional couple of weeks been all over the place but I figured it's been a minute since we had a chit chat, caught up. So I'm gonna do a quick little vlog. It's gonna be short because like I said, my last vlog was an hour and a half, but I was, like I said, I was supposed to start this vlog this morning, but I was in so much pain. <laughs> I was like, I'm not about to pick up a camera right now, um, but it's actually feeling better. The only thing that's helped me, I bought some Aleve, like muscle relaxers, and it does help pop some of that and it's feeling better but i do need to do some work really quick because i'm overdue on my emails i couldn't even like sit at the computer that's how much pain i was in so i do a couple emails and then i just booked a casting in new york city tomorrow so and i need to go get my brows waxed i got a couple things to do okay the curl definition is cute i'm not doing anything serious i just recently discovered that i can do a claw clip on my hair I never thought that was an option for me. I never like tried it. I always thought my hair wouldn't like react well. I can't find my favorite claw clip. Wait till I show y'all my garden. I think in my last vlog, there wasn't much going on. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are going to die when y'all see all that's going on back there. So I kind of overdid it with the planting because you know, when I was doing my research, they were like, you know, if you're a first time gardener, like things are gonna die. You're gonna have a hard time figuring out what works for you in your area that you live in. Everything has lived and everything is thriving. So now I have all these plants. I actually had to let a couple of the ones that I grew like pass away because I had no room for them. I have about 30 zucchini in my kitchen. The tomatoes I just had this week, the most delicious tomatoes I've ever tasted. And my strawberries have been going crazy. I feel like I need to slick this down a little bit. This smells really good. This is the Rizzo's Curls Curl Defining Cream. Aloe, coconut oil, and shea. That smells really good. But I need to, where's my toothbrush? Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. It's here. Yes, okay. I need to clean so bad. Well, I mean, you're asking for a lot. I'm just one person. I will delay the requested information is below. I have open bills. I have something Wednesday too, don't I? Hmm. 
So basically, I right now I'm just talking to my management. I haven't had management in a couple of years. I tried out management a couple of years ago, did not like the company I was with. We were not a good match. Um, so we parted ways and then I just signed with a new management company because I just been like kind of in a funk with my social media channels. Like keeping up with Instagram, TikTok and YouTube has been a lot. And I feel like, although I love posting content, sometimes I don't know like the proper like the best approach or the best strategy for each platform. And I've just been like having a hard time juggling that. And I've been trying to do it all, but like, mm, I was like, let me see if I can take on management again because I need help. And then on top of that, like managing brand deals, that's probably the only part of the job that's like, mm, because you know, you're going back and forth and negotiating. And sometimes when you don't have management, they try to lowball you um, and take advantage of you. And then there's like contract review and things of, things of that nature. It's like a lot of background paperwork. Um, and then the management will handle all of that. So they're just asking for a ton of information from me for onboarding. So hopefully the new management works out for me. Can I pull my analytics from here? Excuse me? Sign into what? All right, I look crazy, but I'm back. My work that I did took a lot longer than expected, but I finished that. And I actually went to run errands really fast. I didn't bring you guys because y'all would have just stayed in the car, but I went to just get my eyebrows done. I picked up some things from Sephora, but I got some Fenty Lip Balm. This is our Luxe Balm. It um like sold out immediately months ago and I just never saw it in stock. But they had a whole bunch finally and I wanted to try it because I do need just a good like regular lip balm. And then I got a new lip oil. So I had bought the Fenty lip oil a long time ago and I thought it was just okay. But I actually finished it. And I've never in my life finished like a lip gloss or a lip oil before I lost it. I always either lose them or I don't know. But that one is like empty. This one smells so good. And then where did I go? I went to the grocery store just to pick up something because I have to get rid of these zucchini. Let me show you how many zucchini I have. It's actually absurd. And y'all look at all of these zucchini. I grew all of these. Insanity. Like, oh my goodness. I'm just, <laughs> I can't believe. I just can't believe my eyeballs. But I'm actually about to go out to the backyard anyway to, um, harvest so this is basil the basil was like this big when i got it it's insane this is my yellow squash plant it's starting to look a little crazy but i still have some like zucchini growing in there back here um banana peppers back here oh many tomatoes i need to get in there and pick them before the critters get them and look the little orange i have red ones so exciting this is kale look how pretty got a cucumber back there got some strawberries that i need to pick But this is the harvest for today. Very successful. Oh. All right, it's been quite the morning. I can barely rotate myself on my neck. Um, I was supposed to catch a train at 10.15. 
it is now 1043. The next train does not come until 1128. But yeah, I woke up this morning. My neck is maybe like 10% better than yesterday. I just don't know what I did to myself. Cause like, I feel like I had two separate issues at the same time because my neck was like stiff. Like I couldn't even like, I mean, I still can't really, like I literally can't, this is as far as I can tilt my head. This way is not too bad. I cannot tilt my head this way. It's just like I pulled something or like in my trap and it's going down to my lat and like affecting this side of my neck. And I can't explain it. It's not like ridiculously painful, but it's just like you feel it and it's annoying. And I just feel really, it's just annoying. So I woke up this morning, I had a hard time getting out of bed. I moved really slow, missed that train. But I'm here. And then my lawn boy showed up and I didn't have cash for him. I probably could have made this 1040 train, but he showed up and I didn't realize because like I said before in New Jersey, we, we've been having a heat wave. I'm talking like 99 degrees multiple times a week, which is not normal for us. And the grass is like burnt and not growing. So he stopped coming as frequently as he usually does. So he basically showed up today. <clears throat> And I had lost track of time. And I was like, oh shoot. So I had to run to the store real quick, get some cash for him. Cause I don't like, I could have waited till next time, but I don't like him doing the service and then me not paying him immediately. Like, I don't like that. Cause if I was doing a service, I would want to be paid immediately on the spot. But yeah, it's been a morning. I've, I've moved, I moved as fast as I could. I did a little slick back bun, put on a little red tube top with um, some army pants and I'm about to pop this knockoff I think this is knockoff Aleve see I feel like I need more than one let me just back ache muscle aches do not take more than directed I finally every time I go to the city I'm like I need to take advantage of photo ops in New York City I know my little Loewe's I love these do I have any life updates? I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a minute. Went on vacation. I finished my carousel vlog last night, so that'll be up. Went on vacation. I had a lot of modeling jobs. Um, last night I was gonna make this delicious salad, but I couldn't even stand up anymore. I, I literally, I'm not gonna lie, I went and got a grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. That was my dinner. And I went to bed, because this, I was irritated with this pain. Um, but yeah, not many life updates. It's been almost two months since buffers pass and it's, it's been a process. It's definitely been a process. Um, people ask me how I'm doing on Instagram, which is so nice and I'm better. The first week and the first two weeks were the worst for sure because it just came out of nowhere and it was just like such a shock to me. And you know, I've always lived on, you know, I've lived on my own with Buffy for years. And it was just such a difference in the house when she had passed away. Like, such a difference. Like, the silence was, like, killing me. Cause I, and I felt bad because I used to get, like, annoyed by her little, like, pitter-patters. Or, or when she would, like, follow me or just, like, bark at a bunny rabbit outside. I'd be like, Buffy, cut it out! But now I, like, miss that. And the silence is, like, ugh. It took so much to get used to. And I actually, like, hate the silence. But I would say on average, I cry about once a day about it. Um, I realized when she actually died, I really like disassociated. So I remember she died and I like jetted out of the room. And I was just like, kind of acted like it didn't happen and everything was fine, but everything was not fine. Um, so every, like that memory comes up every day and I just like start to cry about it. Ugh, it just, it was a lot for me all like i said it just came out of nowhere and buffy was so young she would she would have been four this fall and it's just it's been a process um as far as getting another dog 
no i'm not feeling the thought of another dog so i don't remember a whole lot from when i was a kid but what i do remember and when i say as a kid i'm talking about like things that i said i wanted for the future like you know when you're a kid and you're like oh i want to be this when i grow up or i want to live here and do that <sighs> i don't remember a lot of that but i remember seeing a, a picture of a chow chow and being like that is the cutest dog ever i will have one when i get older and i remember when i was ready for a dog i went on a hunt couldn't find one for months if not years and eventually I stumbled across Buffy down in Florida randomly and I was like oh perfect and it was during the pandemic when I was working from home so I was like this is perfect um so that was one of the things she was like my dream dog and I felt like she was taken from me that's the first reason the second reason is that I'm not going to lie to y'all I did not enjoy the puppy stage Buffy was the absolute cutest thing so adorable and of course there's fun moments with a puppy for sure but I was more, I was so stressed out. Like almost every day for the first couple of months, I was like, I feel like I made a mistake. This is too much for me. I bit off more than I can chew. Like I was going nuts. It was a lot of work to train her and get her. Cause you like dogs, you like they have instincts, but they also don't know anything. Like you have to potty train them. You have to teach them not to bite. They eat everything. Um, I had so many scares because she would pick up something random and eat it. And I would have to like, pull, like, it was a lot for me like I was stressed so I did not enjoy that so I cannot imagine getting another puppy and starting from scratch that's the second reason and just like the third reason like I said she was gonna be four and at that age they finally get to the point where they kind of just like calm down and I was literally just saying her behavior was perfect like I was so proud of her our relationship was so good um, her behavior was excellent like she was a perfect match for me and we finally got to that point and I was so happy um and then the fourth reason she literally basically dropped dead with no notice and i didn't know that because i was already a helicopter mom like i was always taking her to the vet for any little thing i wanted to give her the best food the best snacks the best care and i felt like i was doing my absolute best like i always make sure she got her exercise and all of that and then to learn that dogs can just drop dead with no notice is scary so like and not to say if I got another dog, that would happen again. But I know when I shared Buffy's story, people were like, yeah, the same thing happened to my dog. And I was like, wow, so this really does happen. Like, pe like even if it's not like the heart disease she died from, there are things that can happen to them that they can just literally just drop dead. And I don't think I can live <laughs> through that again. Um, so as of right now, it's a no for me for another dog. And then on top of that, you guys know... Um, I made it work with buffers, but as soon as I got her, my life kind of changed and I started traveling so much. Like after the pandemic calmed down in 2021, I was traveling for shoots, for brands. I started modeling and I always had to either put her in boarding or have someone look after her or have someone come by the house and check on her and walk her and stuff. Um, and that was a lot. And a lot of times I had to either cancel trips or cut trips short or adjust my vacations or photo shoots around her. And it was a lot, because I don't have a lot of help here. So that was a lot. Um, but yeah, just like how much I travel and how busy I am, I just, there's a million reasons, but a dog right now is not in the cards. Um, and I just feel like Buffers was my girl. Like she was the perfect match for me. Who's this? All of those reasons are why I'm, I'm just not going to get another dog. I always think it's interesting when people's dogs... I've seen people's dogs die and then they immediately go get another one. And I'm just like, did you even like process that your dog died? Like I understand it because I know when Buffy died, I was like, I can't live in this silence. Like I need another dog to like come. But I feel like if I did that, I would have been acting off of emotion um, and not logic. So I'm glad that I actually sat in my feelings and processed it and came to a decision. So will I change my mind down the road when this is not as fresh? Maybe, maybe, but as of right now, no. I can't imagine getting another dog. Like Buffers was perfect. She was perfect for me. But yeah, that's an update on how I'm feeling about Buffers. Still very much sad about it, but it's getting better. I'm gonna do a lip. 
Oh my gosh, wait, my stomach. No, I need to go get a snack. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I literally had breakfast. I didn't think it would hurt. But I guess that was like two hours ago. Don't play. Where's my lip liner? This is Mac Chestnut. I got this because every time I go to a photo shoot, this is what they use on me. So I was like, okay. I feel like this is kind of dark though, but I don't know. The professionals know best. Oh, that does look pretty. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I think I want to try out my new lip oil, but I also have... I honestly feel like this is expired. Tripod modeling card. I got my book. Still have not finished this from vacation. I just, I'm doing very bad at reading this summer. Not even this summer, this year. Like we're in July and I just, I, I'm not happy with how I've been reading because I need to read and stay off social media. Where is the, the, my patience, it's thin, it's thin. Oh, here it is, okay. All right, I'll see y'all in the city. at the fitting I think it went well they gave me lots of compliments and they said I was like the perfect size for their bras so hopefully we get a little booking hopefully y'all can hear me because obviously the city's loud but I'm walking to a brunch place that I found on Google hopefully it's good the fitting took like maybe 10-15 minutes that's usually how it goes so it's like really it's a long ride for such a quick little fitting but obviously it's like worth it if it turns into a booking, which I hope it does. Yeah, I wanna start taking more advantage of coming to the city for these bookings because I usually just go to the fitting and go right back home, which is a waste of a day. So I'm gonna try to find this, oh, it's raining.
Oh. Okay. Lordy, lordy, lordy. We're just going to be crooked. Good morning. <laughs> I think I left you guys. Where? New York City. New York City was great. The casting went really well, I think. Um, and then honestly, Wednesday and Thursday. Today's Friday. Wednesday and Thursday, I didn't do anything. I was in such a horrible mood because my like sh shoulder, neck, it's not even my shoulder, it's my trap that's in complete pain. But I went to my friend's house and she had a Theragun. And when I tell you the relief, it was crazy. So I actually went to Best Buy yesterday to buy my own. I bought a little mini one. And I woke up this morning much better. Very minimal. There's still some like tightness there but it's much better so I'm feeling better I was just a cranky mess for two days um but yeah I'm, I actually have to get I actually have to get to brunch sitting on top of the world top of the world okay so I have 30 minutes I really wanted to braid my hair down and do like a wig situation but I don't know if I can make that happen in 30 minutes hate to say it but I got it done it's 11 58 mm, mm, mm. And I got this done, y'all. Um, my friends are not here. Not even close. But I fine because I want to capture some content anyways. At first, I, I'm proud of myself. One of my biggest, like, I get so anxious about parallel parking. And I had to like hold up cars while I parallel parked. But I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't get it on the first try. So I had to just adjust a little bit and then back in. But I did pretty good. I first have to make sure that I can park here. I ain't trying to get towed. One second. I'm going to mark it for a better lip combo. I love the liner, but I feel like I want like a lighter color in the middle. Um, just to make it like pop. All of my lipsticks are like a nude color. My friend is moving. She's on the road. Okay, good. Three miles away. Okay, cool. I share my location with my friends. We did this years ago because this is when like black women were getting kidnapped. And I was like, no, what if they take us? So we've been sharing our location ever since. But really, it, at this point, we're just being nosy. Honestly. I'll be bored and I'll be like, let me see what my friends are doing. What are you doing there? All right, I'm yapping. I'm going to go get some content. My stomach is eating itself. sit y'all here crooked wonderful um brunch was delicious it was great catching up with my friends um i don't want to go home because y'all know i've been cooped up in the house all week because my freaking back my dilemma do i want to drive an hour all the way to king of prussia i'm not sure i do i'm not sure i do but i really am in the mood for a little treat it actually did not take long to get here. It only took... Okay, so it did take 50 minutes. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. It zoomed by. Um, I lost a press on. Tacky. Um, but I made it. Perfect. Maybe a sunglass. Maybe a little purse. Maybe a couple clothes. We will see.
I bought nothing. <sighs> That's annoying. But I just didn't find anything. The sunglasses. Y'all know, I typically always treat myself to sunglasses, but I haven't purchased a pair in probably like six months. I had to ask the man, is there something, is like, did something happen between now and then? Because almost every single pair of sunglasses I tried on were in the $600 range. Mind you, I have a ton of like sunglasses. Most of them were in like the $300 range. Some of them might have been in the $400 range and I got them on sale. But literally the first couple, they were $610. I was like, that's pushing it for a sunglass. Like $300, sure, a little splurge. Like I'm pretty sure these Lueves, I paid like 300 bucks for these. And so I was like, I'm not doing that. For $600, I can literally get a leather sandal from Fendi or Hermes or anywhere. Like, sorry, but no. So I don't know if there's like something going on in the sunglass world and the prices then went up, but $600 is crazy for a sunglass. I love the coaches, the purses in Coach. Those are really cute. I'm basically in the market for a bag. Like I, I think I told you guys this. When I go to like my castings in the city or if I'm going on an all day job, like I just want like a cute bag that I can carry all of my things in. Because right now I don't have that. My tail bars are just not functional. And maybe, maybe this is a sign. I just don't need to buy anything. But those bags were adorable and they were at a very good price. I just wasn't like particularly drawn to one particular one, but they're super duper cute loved all of them but yeah i walked around that whole mall waiting to spend a couple dollars and i didn't find anything mm, it's so annoying i got ice cream i was craving something sweet i feel like malls are just not what they used to be i remember i used to go in the mall and have trouble not spending money now i'm like scourging looking to spend a couple bucks and nothing is like standing out at me but i think i've done enough here in this vlog if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for sticking with me don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>